Hello wrestling fans and welcome back to Tweet Wrestling, the world of retro wrestling. In this video we have something different and away from wrestling, we have Sabutio Squad's trading cards. Not only that, we talk about the great hobby and the great collectibles of Sabutio. Before we go on, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Tweet Wrestling. If you are like me, you will remember Sabutio from being that great little football game from back in the 1980s and 1990s. Obviously, the hobby goes back further than then, and I believe it kicked off in the 1940s. There is a huge global fan base for Sabutio, and you can see it everywhere as we speak. So it's on the likes of your Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, you name it. And as you can see on the screen now, someone is trying to sell their collection for 3,500 quid. That price is for the full stadium and it's not bad money if you can get it. You can see on your screen now it's the little bits that generate more interest similar to wrestling figures. On the screen now is the Northampton Town team. I believe this is from the late 60s, 70s and it's sold for a whopping £540. So yeah, it shows that Sabutio is quite a serious hobby. One of my favourites was a USA 94 World Cup set. I managed to pick this up as a kid, and I believe it's still kicking around in the attic somewhere. The things I remember are obviously the pitch, your scoreboard, the little signs that went around the pitch, but there were some wacky and unusual football teams with that. Don't forget we had throw-in takers, corner takers, you name it. Sabutio was fun and loved by everyone. If I remember rightly, to have floodlights on your pitch, that was pretty much hardcore. I see this guy here on eBay is trying to sell a few. And going one further, friends of old Sabutio have got a complete stadium. I have to admit, that looks absolutely epic and football how I remember it. For me though, I remember the 1990 set. And I believe on your screen now is a French version. And I picked up this version back in about 1991, which started the hobby. And Sabutio would be the closest thing to lifting the European Cup for me. You see the little trophy here? I had that one day. Maybe it's in the bin now. But I'll never forget the memory. That is for sure. So as we went back there to the 1990s and the good old times of Sabutio, I'd like to give a big shout out to Sabutio World for letting me use some of their photographs. If you're into Sabutio, head over to www.sabutioworld.co.uk. Some great pieces, great bargains, have a look. Anyway, onto the trading cards. I think these were available from about 95, 96 to 1997. Classic packet, and obviously it's fetching back the memories straight away. It says there, 1996. And it's nice to know also 100% authentic and made by Hasbro for that. They made some good toys, didn't they? With these cards, I'm definitely looking for a David Beckham. What other legends can you remember? Tony Aboa, was Zola playing in the Premier League then? Robbie Fowler was, Alan Shearer. Let's see what we got. Okay then, we have it, the superstar, the legend. David Lee. Do not remember him. Nigel Quasi, I do remember that name. Sadly, it's no David Beckham. Man City ace, Alan Kernahan. One thing, all right, we might not be getting the footballers we want. Savo Milosevic there. Gary McAllister. Good one, that. I like that. But taking a look at the cards and you see the great football kits from that time. Coventry legend, Richard Shaw. Jamie Moreno, <laughs> obviously these aren't world superstars. Stig, Inga Bjornaby, wow, I totally forgot about him. But look at the football kits, you know, that spells 1990s, and I absolutely love that. Anyway, next packet, here we go. Just a good feeling opening up retro packets, let's face it. There's a the little instruction card there for what how you actually had to play the game. And Steve Howie, Wayne Burnett, 
Bolton Wanderers. Wow. I remember them in the Premier League. Steve Vickers. Oh, sorry, I was going to say Steve Vickers. It's Steve Vickers. Ian Dowie. Wow, that's enough to scare anyone. Neil Sullivan. He was quite a good keeper until Beckham chipped him. Then next up, Jason Dozzle. Wow, Tottenham Hotspur legend. Oh, another one there of Stig Inge Bjornaby. I wonder what he's up to now. Oh, Rude Gullet. I'll take that one. That's about the best card in the lot. So I didn't really get lucky with a David Beckham, but it's nice to check through on these football cards. And as I say, it's always nice to look at the retro football kits. And on top of that, it's something different away from wrestling. Although we love wrestling, there's nothing wrong with that. It's always nice to check out something else. So for me now, I'm going to check out to see if I've got the USA 94 World Cup game there. Thanks for looking, everyone. Take care. Goodbye for now.